Hey guys, it's Ravenslave45 and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. Today we're going to be continuing on with the Crafter's Relics for the next stage, which was introduced in 6.4 if my memory serves me correctly. If not, then my future self can correct me. So, seems always we're here in the Crystallium at the same place that we get our previous stage, but now we need to talk with Geralt over here. Oh, no, not Geralt. Not her, Geralt. The Joy of Zoe! Ugh, a sign of sore eyes is ever a choice. Spending the stool is treating me well, I hope. Um, you're treating me quite well, especially with the new trait they have where every time I crap, sometimes it's much more higher than when they're in good condition. You might be pleased to know that our work is paying off, in name is Mistress Owen's coffers besides. With the schematics of the tools finalized, we are forced to forge a fresh batch of the boutique, and I told our first shipment is so like hot biscuits, or somewhat. Truly, Master Geralt? Why, that's wonderful news. I need to put my heart to the ears strike of the anvil. I know, of course, but I was rather worried that the quality of my work might suffer when we begin mass production. Well, you heard the man. Coffee biscuits, hot coffee biscuits. Your encouragement is much appreciated, Artorius. I really must take more pride in my work. And so do you, considering how much you have contributed to our endeavor. Your tools are the masterful work in their own right, Miss Chazoi. It's only natural that they are laundered as such. Our patrons have not but praise for what you wrought. Words of the tools, adapted nature, has spread throughout Endemore like wildfire. And the connoisseur from over Novorant are lining up their droves to inquire about our next shipment. In fact, Mrs. Moen has requested your presence in Endemore to discuss further business opportunities. Do it seem she has in mind to introduce you to one of our most influential patrons? Hmm, we're going to Elamore. Are we gonna see those two couple again? Look at White! Never in my wildest dreams would I think of being invited to Elamore, of all places. It's an honor, really, it is. But are you quite sure she wanted me there? Mr. Wen is a sharp one, lass. Long as I am nowhere. She has once sheared me wrong. If it means for us to stick a part in the next step of her grand design, I reckon we much oblige her. Oblige her is perfectly fine and all, but the thought of ill still makes me as twitchy as Mord's tail. If we really are going, I feel a little less of a place. If our friend Warp Darkness accompanies us, what do you say, Artorius? Sure, I'll accompany you. Alright, onward to Albrant, or no, what? Eldemore! And it'll be nice if they teleport. Okay, good, finally, they give me a field teleport to Eldemore. Um, hi. Let me guess, you're the crafter of the Boutique Splendors too! Ha! You and everyone else have no brought. Every skilled Austria and work their salt has been clamoring for two to draw out their full potential. Myself included. Uh huh. It is good to see you, my friends. But your expression, I take it the throng of arson hungry for my handiwork made a warm enough welcome. I can see that. I 
as you can see, we have no shortage of patrons hoping to savor the fruits of your labor. Few could resist the allure of tools crafted with the Warrior of Darkness collaboration. And there are still few who still would gladly say their inefficiency. Our patients were specifically captivated by the adapted properties we all incorporated, and I have no doubt that your work shall remain a staple to the boutique for quite some time. Uh huh. It's like as long as you're making money, of course. As ever, we must consider this success meaning for the future of trade in Novrant, and how these tools might revitalize our markets. To that end, I should like to meet you- meet one of our patrons, if you allow me to the inner deck. I see where you're going at. <laughs> oh god, we have a rowing automaton on the loose. Look out, Mrs. Muen! Prepare the clock, you rusty bastard! And he did, Jesus! Yes! Jesus, Geralt! My hero! <laughs> I would like to say. Phew! Didn't think a move I learned of one of those bloody old dreams would come in handy. But if it means to keeping the trees safe and sound, that's all what it matters. Say, though, I can't say about the flooring now, since you dismal that automaton. Hmm, now when you think of it, someone seems off about this little bugger charging at us. Maybe I can figure out some of them faulty mechanisms. Well, you could try, Geralt. And good as new. to do it. And done. With a few minor improvements to his movement capabilities, this little grin runner could fly just about anywhere. Who needs some dusty old rusty wheel to weigh you down, eh? My humble apologies. That pure creature sat dormant in the dwarf store for quite some time before I welcomed it into my collection. Precious as they may be, some antiques are simply bound to have more dust and rust than others. Oh, Chai, it's good to see you again. But I must say, the rumors do not do your work justice, Master Geralt. Have I known any better? I might assume this Iron Frog was one of those dwarves' newest models. Ah, uh, it's good to see you again, Miss Chai. But why with the mask, though? I suppose this is as opportune a time as ever for introductions. It is my honor to present you, Krishi Tarol, collector of curios and a friend to the boutique. Herr Jenner's assistance has allowed us to procure the countless components required for our travels. The honor is all mine, really. This city is maybe known for its prompt and circumstances, but you didn't place me on the pedestal. At the end of the day, we Elamorians are sinners one and all. You see, during Lord Valtry's reign, I went to great lengths to obtain oddities of all sorts, reveling in relics of the realm that once was, to the babbling of the old world, and their histories would be mine and mine alone. 
or so I selfishly believe. But our city is on the curse of a great change, and I feel I must change with it. That is my contribution, may shape the future of Novorant. It's a most heartening prospect. I am more than happy to apply my part for the boutique. My prized possession has become the beating heart of this endeavor. I couldn't have had a dream of a greater purpose for them. They are the proverbial flames that will fuel your forge in the days to come, of course. That is to say, you do plan on honoring those adept tools further, yes? If you wish to reach even loftier heights. It would be my pleasure to offer you the most priceless treasures I own. And I assure you, there is plenty to spare. Yes, ma'am! That would be wonderful, ma'am! I swear to put forth any effort and craft something worth your priceless treasures. Ma'am. Good. Good, good. Let us make it official then. As chairwoman of the Boutique of Splendor, I hereby declare our newest venture underway. With your four superior tools deliver us into a new frontier and serve as a beacon of hope for our builders and providers. I can see it now. A brave new age of tradesmen and tradeswomen. Inspired by the trailblazing Mr. Astrin, who wrought her cherished dreams to life with her companions. In order to bring this youthful inspiration to the fore, however, I propose a new name for this new generation of tools. One that calls to mind the trailblazing Mr. herself. After her kindly offer to name our initial batch of tools of the boutique, it is only fair that I have returned the favor. A splendid idea, dear Moen. I couldn't have said it better myself. Wait, what? You want me? I, I beg your pardon? I very much appreciate the sermon, but... Me? Ah, you! If you have keen eyes to prove the next batch of tools, you say, and I am no well, it'll be a damn fine job of it. Then you be better have right to brand them as your own. Your tourism is most encouraging, Miss Corzo. But you mustn't fret. We have plenty of time before we must finalize such things. As our main matter of business is concluded, I recommend you pass in Eleanor's glorious sights before you depart. Perhaps it might serve as an inspiration for you. Oh, what to do? Oh, what to do? <laughs> As for you, Atorius, would you attend for me for a moment? There's another matter of business I wish to discuss at the receptionist counter. Um, sure. Okay. Well, see Miss Chai, I, I'm pretty sure that's her, or it's just like another NPC model for some random NPC. Oh god, just sit on that damn thing. I'm surprised that robot didn't fall apart. Well, there she goes. Well, at least she doesn't need to worry about, you know, the weight of being, like, you know, on mobile on the ground, but still, this must be freaking heavy to lock her around. My dear girl is quite chivalrous, is he not? Standing steadfast in the face of imperious disaster. <sighs> this is an image I can't soon forget. I would not request your presence simply to swoon, you understand? Your attendance is our dealing today, it was most appreciated. I realized the proposal to rebrand our tools was a shock to Miss Choi but 
I fed is necessary for her own growth. Her ideals are a boon to us, and she must learn to take pride in the great success she has forged with you and Geralt to feel like these works are truly hers. Knowing Geralt as I do, I'm certain he will be eager to lend his aid. But what of you? Ours is not easy work, but would you join us to lend your support to Chozo once more? Hell yes! Excellent! You have my deepest gratitude to us. Fostering connection and collaboration to build a better Novrant is the true mission of the boutique. And after all, and we will be honored to have your assistance. If I'm not mistaken, Geralt and his Troy have already departed the Crystarium. Send them my regards, won't you? Sure thing. Nope, back to the Crystarium. Alright, let's go to here. Alright, now let's talk to Geralt. I can't remember the last time I set foot in anymore. Wouldn't even stand around to visit the place when I live a stone throw away. Then again, it was the right path to come and go anywhere from me underwater sanctuary. But enough of a mindless babbling. How do you find the trip, Miss Shaw? Being refreshed after some time away from the meme? I think it might be the opposite of refresh, actually. I was shaking up by the whole experience. I couldn't hardly enjoy it at all. It was very kind of Mrs. Rowan to suggest naming our tools after me. And I don't mean to sound ungrateful at all, but I have the skills to become the great beacon of hope she thinks I am. What in the world am I going to do, Master Geralt? <laughs> Easy now, lass. The first thing you do is take a deep breath and sometimes to calm yourself. Which you think so or not, you do have the skills, and no matter which way you feel like taking this on, we'll be right there with you. That being said, Atorius, we can be counting on your support. Together, we'll force off a summit as we make the whole bloody realm want to take up a trade. Here, here. And quest complete. You now purchase crystalline two replicas of the Quimnana. Okay, so we're crazy. So I can I can buy um, the replicas for the relics now. So the next one is her third enhancements, a tool of her own. So let's see. I want to do which crafting tool I want to do first. Hmm. I want to say armor or blacksmith. But then again, I do want to level up my crafter, um, gatherers because I need to gather shit too. Mm. You know what? I'll stick with armor for now and ask for the quest line. And then ask for the other ones, I'll do the off screen. 